well it's really important whenever you try to understand uh, about any technology it might be cloud computing system engineering network technologies or any other platform you need to understand about the architecture because whenever you have detailed knowledge detailed concepts about the architecture so you can easily grab all features all capabilities and working procedures about any technology so same goes for the virtualization platform whenever we try to understand about the any virtualization platform it might be vmware esxi microsoft hyper-v or you can say uh, open source kvm platform proxmox and all other uh, products regarding the virtualization platform so generally whenever we try to understand about the virtualization platform we directly go with the comparative study we compare like esxi versus microsoft hyper-v microsoft hyper-v versus kvm kvm versus proxmox proxmox versus other virtualization platform but whenever we try uh, to understand the architecture so we explore that proxmox is not a hypervisor and we learn more about the proxmox regarding the virtualization platform but it's clearly under understandable that uh, when we talk about the proxmox it's not a hypervisor and all these features we will explore about the proxmox in this session except that proxmox is not a hypervisor hello and welcome to all of you on my productive and skill oriented training platform so as i said earlier uh, proxmox is not a hypervisor why it's really uh, surprising for you because most of the time whenever we explore uh, our social media platforms especially youtube so uh, we see videos training videos like proxmox versus uh, esxi proxmox versus uh, microsoft hyper-v proxmox versus this and that so we need to understand the architecture deeply because whenever we try to uh, explore or we try to deploy any kind of enterprise level project so we must have to gain detailed knowledge about all the products all the applications all the protocols and all the technologies which are directly related with it operations and data center so same goes for props mocks whenever i want to explore uh, uh, more about uh, the props mocks uh, via chat gpt or deep seek or even when i visit the official proxmox website so they clearly mention that proxmox is not a hypervisor proxmox is basically a virtualization management platform with the help of this platform you can perform lots of management implementation deployment monitoring and all tasks which are directly related with the virtualization technology whenever you are going to deploy any open source virtualization platform and you want to implement advanced level features on that hypervisor so with the help of proxmox you can perform all these kinds of activities so the question is then how proxmox is going to create the virtual machines how they perform lots of operations uh, which is uh, like uh, like um, uh, 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 enterprise level hypervisor so behind the scene we have lots of products lots of applications and lots of protocol available on behalf of which proxmox perform all these features basically whenever we try to explore any open source operating system like centos ubuntu debian so they have kvm kernel based virtual machines uh, kvm is basically an additional layer which work like uh, a kind of basic virtualization uh, or you can say a kind of basic hypervisor so with the help of this kvm we can easily convert our physical components into logical component it might be compute 
मेमोरी स्टोरेज नेटवर्क और एनी अदर इंटरनल कंपोनेंट ऑफ अ काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से होस्ट मशीन इट माइट बी ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ डेल एच पी लेनोवो आई बी एम और एनी अदर फिजिकल मशीन सो वेन एवर वी डिप्लॉय ओपन सोर्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑन दोज मशीन सो KVM is built in. It's a kernel-based virtual machine which is directly integrated with all operating systems. So, on behalf of this KVM, we can easily convert our physical components into logical components. So, that's it about the hypervisor, which generally integrated with any open source operating system. Now. if we move forward and want to understand more about these background applications or background softwares so the second number regarding uh, the virtualization platform which is directly related with the proxmox is q e m o or sometimes we call it kemo basically uh, when kvm convert all physical components into logical components but uh kvm has its own limitations it cannot optimize the performance of these virtual components or you can say they cannot emulate uh, all physical components like uh, usb and other uh, uh, hardware components which are integrated uh, with this virtualization platform so for that purpose we need an other tool we need an other application which can perform this uh, performance optimization activity um, which can emulate all these hardware components so for that purpose kemo is available inside the open source operating system so now still we explore the two components the first one is kvm the second one is kemo now if we move forward so question come up in our mind that then how we can create these virtual machines virtual networks and storage devices and that kind of stuff so now it's time uh, to understand about the third component of this virtualization platform and this third component is known as libvirt api plus daemon so now we need a application which can provide us number of apis on behalf of which we can easily configure our virtualization components like compute network storage and protocols as well and in the same manner we need services which this component is provide on behalf of their daemon services so with the help of libvirt api plus uh, demo services we can take an other advantage about the management integration and service start restart and uh, stop options as well so now we deal with the three major activities now it's come uh, uh, it's it's a time to understand about an other major component so that component is called word manager now uh, after the deployment of all these components uh, we don't have any uh, tool right now on gui mode on behalf of which we can create our virtual machines uh, we can create our network adapters we can deploy our uh, storage buckets and that kind of stuff even we cannot configure any kind of uh, uh, protocols like dns gcp and that kind of stuff so now we need a gui tool and for that purpose we have word manager with the help of this tool now we have an open uh, source gui tool available with the help of which we can easily configure our virtual machines our virtual lan adapters storage accounts and all other stuff which is directly related with the virtualization platform so these are the four major products which generally come up to provide the virtualization platform or behave like a hypervisor whenever we are dealing with the open source operating system the first one is kvm 
the second one is KEMU, the third one is uh, LiveWord API and Daemon Services, and the fourth one and the last one is Word Manager. So these, uh, if, if you talk about the open source hypervisor, it's a kind of compound effect of all these applications. When all these applications are integrated with each other, so now we come up with a solution which is known as open source hypervisor and generally we call it kvm and whenever we try to explore any other open source hypervisor behind the scene these four components are available and all these four components whenever uh, integrated with each other they perform all the hypervisor uh, features functions and capabilities now at last the important question where is prox mox so now these four components or four layers of management available in our data center but we are missing something really important whenever we talk about the enterprise level virtualization platform all these four applications can perform basic functionalities regarding the hypervisor but if we talk about the advanced level features these advanced level features are generally not available uh, with all these four applications on the platform of open source hyper now in this case we need a platform which will be capable to perform all these kinds of functionalities for our hypervisor and now it's time to come uh, and introduce proxmox so with the help of proxmox we can perform lots of tasks lots of uh, uh, activities regarding the enterprise level hypervisor number one if we want to uh, do live migration from one host to an other host it's not possible with all these four components which is generally uh, under the shelter of hypervisor of the open source application so if i have two hosts and I want to migrate my virtual machine from this host to this host. So for that purpose, we need a tool which have the capacity, which have the capability to perform live migration. And for that purpose, Proxmox is really suitable. Proxmox provide these kinds of enterprise level features. Now, if we move forward and if we want to create a cluster, let's suppose I have three host machines uh, inside my data center and I want to create a cluster, a virtualization cluster with the help of these three host machines for providing fault tolerance and high availability. So the clustering feature is also not available with basic KVM. Now, KVM, KMO, LibWord, Word Manager is available. And if I place Proxmox over it, so with the help of this Proxmox technology, I can easily create clusters inside my data center for providing high availability and fault. And if I move forward and want to explore more features about the Proxmox, so yes, uh, if I have a kind of a, a virtualization platform uh, which are using um, uh, VMware uh, ESXi and I want to uh, import all machines inside the open source hypervisor, so again Proxmox can perform this activity more commonly and in a more easy way. Now, if I move forward and want to create a software defined storage, so again, Proxmox can help me a lot. And in the same manner, CDN and other advanced level features and functionalities regarding the hypervisor or you can say virtualization platform. And uh, if I move forward and want to learn more about the Proxmox, 
so with the help of this proxmox we can also implement containerization technology inside our open source operating system because now i have a complete platform for virtualization i have kvm libvirt word manager all the basic or you can say fundamental features regarding the virtualization and now if i want to uh, create containers on the platform of linux so with the help of proxmox i can easily deploy all kinds of containers for my databases for my domain services for my web hosting services and all other services which are generally operation in our on prem data center so these are the advanced level features which generally provided by proxmox and that is the reason why i said that proxmox is not a hypervisor it's basically a virtualization management platform whenever you have a hypervisor and on behalf of that hypervisor you want to implement all kinds of enterprise level features which we just discussed earlier so proxmox is a very suitable and enterprise level features which you can easily implement inside your on prem data center so i hope that now the concept uh, uh, the concept about the hypervisor and the management platform is completely clear if you have any questions if you have any queries regarding the proxmox kvm or any other option which we just discussed so you can uh, uh, give us feedback via email and also uh, comment in the comment section i hope you enjoy this video uh, and we will uh, wait for your feedback and your productive suggestions as well thank you very much